So, dear student, good morning. In this session, we are going to discussing the new chapter binomial theorem. So, it is very very important uh, chapter for IP and also JE main. So, so many questions uh, related to these concepts. Uh, these are very useful in IIT JE main examinations also. And uh, there are two essay questions uh, and uh, one two mark question from this chapter in IPE examinations. Okay. So, be seriously listen and uh, understood. Okay. Let us talk. Okay. So, the binomial theorem. Now, we are discussing the introduction. So, what is the binomial theorem? So, what is binomial? Bi means 2. Okay. Now, we are the expansion of uh, the two terms. That is, uh, we have taken uh, A plus B. We have taken A plus B. These are the two terms uh, here. A plus B. The integral index. Here, the binomial theorem for positive integral indices. So, the powers uh, are integers that are taken. This is, uh, suppose, uh, A plus B whole power 0. Here, index is uh, 0. Here, these are the two terms, A plus B. We know that A plus B whole to the power of uh, 0. That is, uh, anything power 0 is 1. That is uh, value a plus b whole power 0 that is value is 1. See that a plus b whole power 1. a plus b whole to the power of 1. That is uh, the expansion is here a plus b. Okay. That is uh, a coefficient is 1 and uh, b coefficient is also 1. Next we are writing the a plus b whole square. That is the well known uh, formula. A plus b whole square is equal to that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is the expansion of uh, the a plus b whole square. Here a coefficient is a square coefficient is 1 and a b coefficient is 2 and b square coefficient is 1. Next we are writing the a plus b whole cube. This is also well known formula. So what is a plus b whole cube? That is a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube. This is the formula a plus b whole cube. After that, uh, we are writing uh, a plus b whole to the power of 4. a plus b whole to the power of 4. Now, this can be written as uh, a plus b into into a plus b whole cube. a plus b whole cube. We are writing a plus b whole cube. This is the formula. And multiplying with uh, a plus b. Then we are uh, getting the uh, a plus b whole power 4. So, up to a plus b whole cube, we are familiar. But uh, these uh, formulas, a plus b whole power 5 and a plus b, a plus b, whole power 5 and a plus b whole power 6 uh, and so on. We are not uh, familiar formulas for us. Okay. Now, what is the value expansion of a plus b whole power n? a plus b whole power n. So, we are observing uh, this uh, series. Here, a plus b whole power 0. Then, we are only one term that is uh, 1. Okay. Now, that is uh, 1. Okay. Now, we are writing the uh, a plus b whole power uh, 
1 that is a plus b here the coefficient of a is 1 and coefficient of b is also 1 ok now we are writing here 1 1 ok now we are adding these two that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 then we are writing 1 before and after then we are 1 2 1 then a plus b whole square in this expansion a square coefficient is 1 and uh, <coughs> a b coefficient is 2 and b square we have coefficient is also 1 next uh, we are writing the uh, is adding the uh, 1 and 2 that is 3 here also adding 2 and 1 we are getting 3 we are writing 1 before and after then these are the quotients 1 3 3 1 ok here a plus b whole cube expansion that is a cube quotient is 1 next term a square b quotient is 3 and also a b square quotient is 3 then the last term b cube quotient is 1 that is 1 3 1 1 3 3 1 ok next uh, what is the expansion of a plus b whole to the power of 4 so we are multiplying uh, these we are writing uh, like this manner so what is uh, your observations see that uh, here a plus b whole power 1 that is uh, a plus b here a plus b whole square observe this expansion here the first term is a and the second term is b so here the first term is uh, the index of the power ok here that is 2 highest power is uh, 2 next what is here b power b power 0 next uh, the coefficient is 2 the first term that is uh, decreasing 2 minus 1 that is 1 and uh, b power is increasing that is uh, b power 1 the last term uh, here b power is increasing that is uh, b square a power is uh, uh, 0 we are observing this uh, series a plus b whole square in this expansion so the first term powers are decreasing and the second term powers are uh, the first term powers are decreasing and the second term powers are increasing ok now we are writing the a plus b whole to the power of 4 this expansion the coefficients are like this so we are adding these two then that is uh, 3 plus uh, 1 that is 4 that is 3 plus 3 that is uh, 6 next 3 plus uh, 1 that is uh, 4 now write 1 before and after these are the quotients uh, 1 4 6 4 1 we are adding uh, a plus b whole to the power of 4 these are the quotients what is the first term that is a a to the power of uh, 4 highest power that is index is uh, here 4 so now we are adding the quotient of a to the power of 4 is 1 next uh, we are writing uh, the quotient is 4 the quotient is 4 and first term is power is uh, decreasing that is uh, a cube and second term power is increasing here b power 0 here b power 1 next uh, we are adding uh, the quotient is uh, 6 next term uh, first term power is decreasing here a cube then here we are getting a square and second term power is increasing here a power uh, b power 1 here b square next term quotient is uh, 4 that is uh, 4 and uh, a that is first term power is decreasing by 1 that is 2 minus 1 1 and uh, b term uh, second term b power is increasing here b square here we are getting b cube next last term is quotient is 1 this uh, first term quotient is 0 and uh, second term is uh, highest uh, index that is b power 4 so this is the expansion of a plus b whole to the power of 4 ok so this is the a plus b whole to the power of 4 expansion is this one like this manner we are writing the uh, writing a plus b whole to the power of n so we know that this is uh, in the previous uh, classes uh, you have learned uh, this is the pascal triangle for this pascal triangle we are writing the quotients here ok so now we are writing uh, in this expansion of a plus b whole to the power of n 
we are uh, taken the questions are binomial questions we are taken the binomial questions uh, that are mc not the question is mc not the first term is uh, a to the power of uh, index uh, that is uh, n mc not a to the power of n the second term power is uh, 0 the second term power is 0 next uh, mc1 a to the power of n minus 1 b to the power of 1 next mc2 a to the power of n minus 2 b square and so on mcr a to the power of n minus r into b to the power of r plus so on the last term is mcn a power 0 b to the power of n this is the expansion of uh, a plus b whole to the power of n. So, now we are uh, writing like this. Uh, these are the quotients we are taken mc0, mc1, mc2 and so mcr and so on ncn. These are the quotients. We are called these are the quotients of binomial quotients. These are all mc0, mc1, mc2 and so on ncn. These are all called the binomial quotients okay so these are the expansions uh, we are knowing well known now formulas a plus b whole power n a plus b whole square a plus b whole cube then after a plus b whole to the power of 4 and a plus b whole to the power of 5 and so on a plus b whole to the power of n these are the expansions uh, we are uh, <coughs> discussing like this manner these are the quotients and the first term powers are decreasing and the second term powers are increasing here now the expansion of a plus b whole power n is uh, mc naught a power n b power 0 mc1 a power n minus 1 b power 1 mc2 a power n minus 2 b square and so on mcr a to the power of n minus r b to the power of r plus uh, so on mcn a to the power of 0 and b to the power of n okay now before going to the binomial theorem we are well known formulas i am recalling the formulas so in the permutation combinations uh, chapter you learn now uh, some formulas uh, these are useful in this chapter also what is uh, uh, see the note here. The first one is what is the n factorial? What is the n factorial represented by n factorial? This are we are simply right here n factorial like this. Uh, th this is the notation is n factorial is represented by like this or like this. That is uh, n factorial. What is the n factorial? n factorial is the product of n natural numbers. Product of n natural numbers. That is, uh, this can be written as n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, and so on. 3 into 2 into 1. Or we are writing also from left to right. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on product of uh, n natural numbers. So, n factorial is uh, this one. Now, it is also can be written as n into n minus 1. Up to from this, we are writing the n minus 2 factorial. Okay. These are like that. Okay. n factorial is uh, n into n minus 1, n minus 2 and so on. 3 into 2 into 1. That is product of n natural numbers. We are observing this is the formula we are knowing n factorial is the product of n natural numbers. We are observing that is uh, 0 factorial. What is 0 factorial value is uh, 1. 0 factorial value is 1. And also nc0. What is uh, nc0 value is also 1. That is the first uh, binomial quotient. And also ncn ncn is value is also 1. We know the formula ncr. What is the ncr? 
N C R is the formula. N factorial by N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. So this is the known formula. We are learned in the. This is uh, this proof is also in this chapter permutation combinations. What is uh, N C R? We are taking. R things uh, we are uh, selecting R things from M, M different objectives. So that is N C R is the formula N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial. From that we are uh, getting the these results. N C naught value is one and uh, N C N value is also one and zero factorial value is also one. And we must know the some other formulas. Some other formulas. What is uh, M C R plus M C R minus one? You know the formula M C R plus M C R minus one. That is uh, M plus one. That is M plus one C R. It is uh, very useful in this uh, binomial theorem. N C R plus N C R minus one is equal to N plus one C R. And another formula that is uh, N C R by N C R minus one. N C R by N C R minus one is uh, the formula N minus R plus one by R. This is the formula N C R by N C R minus one. That is equal to n minus r plus one by r. These are the formulas very useful in the binomial theorem. So we must uh, knowing these uh, formulas. Okay, the theorem. This is the binomial theorem. Now we can prove this theorem by mathematical induction. Here the statement is: uh, Let uh, n be a positive integer. And uh, x comma a be real numbers, then the expansion of uh, x plus a whole power n is n c naught x to the power of n into a to the power of zero plus n c one x to the power of n minus one into a to the power of one plus n c two x to the power of n minus two into a square plus so on n c r x to the power of n minus r into a to the power of r plus so on n c n x to the power of zero into a to the power of n. This is the statement. See the proof. This is the proof. We can prove this uh, theorem. We can prove this theorem. We can prove. This theorem by principle of mathematical mathematical induction mathematical induction. Let we are taken the statement is let P of P n Be the statement that is uh, x plus a whole to the power of n. That is equal to the expansion here n c naught x to the power of n a to the power of zero. That is the first term power is n and the second term power is uh, zero. Next uh, plus n c one. X to the power of n minus one, a to the power of one, plus n c two, x to the power of n minus two, a square, plus so on, n c r, x to the power of n minus r, into a to the power of r, plus so on, n c n, x to the power of zero. A to the power of n. This is the our statement that is uh, say p of n. P of n be the statement 
that is uh, x plus a whole to the power of n is equal to n c naught x to the power of n into a to the power of 0 plus n c 1 x to the power of n minus 1 a power 1 plus n c 2 x to the power of n minus 2 a square and so on n c r x to the power of n minus r into a to the power of r plus so on n c n x to the power of 0 into a to the power of n. This is the our statement. Now we can uh, prove this theorem by mathematical induction. So in the first uh, step we have to take and put uh, n is equal to 1. We are proving uh, the statement is true for n is equal to 1. So put n is equal to 1. Then the statement is uh, x plus a to the power of 1. That can be written as uh, in the form of uh, n c naught x power n a power 0, n c 1 x power n minus 1 a power 1. Here what is uh, n? 1 is equal to 1. Here 1 c naught into x to the power of 1 into a to the power of 0. This is uh, nothing but uh, 1 c naught that is 1, x to the power of uh, 1 that is x, a to the power of 0 that is uh, 1. So, this term is uh, x, here we are getting x. Plus, uh, the next term is uh, n c 1 that is 1 c 1 into x to the power of 1 minus 1 into a to the power of 1. We are uh, observing what is the value of uh, x plus a for power and expansion is uh, x plus a. That x plus a, we are writing down here 1 c naught x to the power of 1 into a power 0 plus 1 c 1 x to the power of 1 minus 1 that is uh, x power 0 that is 1 in, into a to the power of n. That is nothing but uh, x plus c. So, this is uh, true for n is equal to 1. The statement is true for n is equal to 1. Therefore, P of uh, n with the true for n is equal to 1. Now, we are proving for n is equal to 1. The statement is true. Assuming that, next step is uh, assuming that Assuming that P of N be the true for N is equal to K. Now, assuming that the statement P of N be the true for N is equal to K. The statement is true for N is equal to K. That is, uh, we are getting the what is the statement uh, P of n is 2 for n is equal to k. For n is equal to k, we are writing the statement that is uh, x plus a whole to the power of uh, k. Here n is equal to k. Now we are uh, writing uh, in this expansion d plus uh, uh, n by k. Then we are writing x plus a whole power k is equal to k c naught x to the power of uh, k into a power 0 plus uh, k c 1 x to the power of uh, k minus 1 into a to the power of 1 plus k c 2 x to the power of uh, k minus 2 into a square plus so on plus so on k c r x to the power of k minus r into a to the power of r and so on plus uh, the last term k c k x power 0 a power k a power k this is the statement uh, for n is equal to k for n is equal to k the statement is uh, assuming that p of n be the true for n is equal to k so now this is the statement that is x plus uh, a equal to the power of k that expansion is uh, true ok now, we are to proving uh, the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Now, we have to prove that now we have to prove that the statement the statement p of n with the true for n 
is equal to k plus 1. Then, by principle of mathematical induction, the statement is true for every n belongs to z plus. For every positive integer, the statement is true by mathematical induction. Okay. Now, we are proving uh, the statement is true. Okay. Now, we are proving uh, the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Now, we are considered now we are considered x plus a whole to the power of k plus 1. Now, we are proving the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Now, we consider this expression x plus a whole to the power of k plus 1. Now, we are writing this x plus a whole power k plus 1 that can be written as x plus a into x plus a whole power k. The bases are equal x plus a, x plus a. Here power is 1, here power is k. That is x plus a whole power k plus 1. Now, we are writing down this uh, x plus a into this x plus a whole power k that is uh, true for this uh, expansion. So, that is the statement is true for n is equal to k. We are getting uh, this x plus a whole power k can be written as uh, in previous uh, writing that is uh, k c naught x to the power of k a to the power of 0 plus k c 1 x to the power of k minus 1 a to the power of 1 plus k c 2 x to the power of k minus 2 a power 2 plus so on plus k c r x to the power of k minus r into a to the power of r plus so on a k c k k c k x to the power of 0 a to the power of k here first term powers are de decreasing and second term powers a power 0 a power 1 a power 2 and so on a power k so this is the true for n is equal to k so now we are assuming the statement is true for n is equal to k then x plus a whole power k can be written as uh, this one Okay, this is the x plus a whole power k. Now, we are multiplying uh, this expression with uh, x plus a. First, we are multiplying with uh, x. So, we are multiplying uh, each term by x. Then, the powers of x is uh, increased uh, 1. Okay, now we are multiplying uh, x. Okay, then uh, here k c naught where x into x power k that is uh, x power k plus 1 a power 0 plus k c 1 x power k minus 1 plus 1 that is k into a power 1 next k c 2 x power k minus 1 a power 2 and so on k c r x power k minus r plus 1 we are increasing x powers by 1 into a to the power of r plus so on k c k x power 1 a power k. Here we are multiplying uh, each term by x. Then the power of uh, x is uh, increased by 1. Here x power uh, k plus 1. Here x power k minus 1 plus 1 that is x power k. Here x power k minus 2 plus 1 that is x power k minus 1 and so on. Here x power 0 we are getting x power 1. Next, we are multiplying next terms are so plus uh, a. We are multiplying uh, these terms, uh, each term is multiplied by small a. So, then the powers of a is increased by 1. Then we are writing down here a into each term in this expansion that is uh, k c naught here x power k here a power 0 into a power 1 that is a power 1. Next, uh, k c 1 x power k minus 1 a power 2 that is increased by 1 that is uh, a power 1 plus 1 a power 2 plus k c 2 x power k minus 2 a power 3 
अनसॉन के सी आर एक्स पॉवर के माइनस आर इंटू ए टू दी पॉवर ऑफ आर प्लस वन प्लस सो आर प्लस के सी के एक्स पॉवर जीरो इंटू ए पॉवर के प्लस वन नाउ यार मल्टीप्लाइंग विद दिस वन by x and e so multiplying by x so we are getting this one and multiplying with a we are getting the second terms so these are the terms we are multiplying with x plus c so now we are writing here now we are writing first one is as it is that is k c not x power k plus 1 a power 0 a power 0 okay that is the first term In the second term, that is uh, k c one x power k a power one. Here also, here also k c one uh, here also x power k into a power one. Okay. In these two, there are common terms x power k a power one. Here x power k a power one. These are common terms. So they are common from these two terms. Uh, x power k into a power one. Then we are getting here x power k into a power one. Then the remaining terms are k c naught, k c naught plus k c one, or k c one plus k c naught, k c naught plus k c one. Okay. So these are the k c one. Here k c naught is the remaining terms. Come by commoning x power k into a power one. Then here k c one, here k c not. In this term, in these two terms, x power k minus one a square is common. X power k minus one a square is common. Then we are getting here k c two plus k c one. Okay, like this we are common. In the last one we are writing the uh, same as it is. We are writing. That is k c k x power zero into a power k plus one. So in the middle of uh, first and last terms, so uh, we are common the terms x power k a power one, x power k minus one, a square and so on. Okay. Now this can be written as uh, here. That is k c naught. That can be also. What is k c naught? The value is uh, here. K c naught is uh, one. And also k plus one c not is also one. This uh, k c not is value is one, and also k plus one c not value is also one. Now we are writing down this one k plus one c not x power k plus one into a power zero plus here k c one plus k c not. You know the formula. This is the formula. N C R plus N C R minus one. That is N plus one C R. Using this formula, using this formula, N C R plus N C R minus one is N plus one C R. Here in the place of N is K K C one plus K C not. That can be written as um, K plus one C one. So using this formula, so like this formula, N C R plus N C R minus one is N plus one C R. Now this is uh, K C one plus K C not. Here n is uh, K and R is uh, one. N plus K plus one is K plus one C one. So this is uh, K C not uh, K C one plus K C not. That is uh, like N C R plus N C R minus one. So here is R is one. R minus one is zero. Okay, this can be written as K plus one C one. And the remaining terms uh, X power K into A power one. Next uh, here K C two plus K C one that is uh, K plus one C two into X power of K minus one A power two and so on. The last terms K C K here K C K value is one K C K value is one. This is also nothing but K plus one C K plus one. This value is also one. Now we are writing uh, K C K that can be written as uh, K plus one. C k plus one into x power zero into a power k plus one. Okay, we are observing uh, this one x plus a four power k plus one. So this is the expansion x uh, in the case of uh, uh, 
n is k, here k plus 1. So, here k plus 1 c naught x power k plus 1 a power 0. Next, k plus 1 c1 1, x power k, that is first power x power is k plus 1. Then the terms of first power term powers are decreasing. Here k plus 1, then here k, k plus 1 minus 1, that is k x power k. And uh, second term a power 0, here is second term a power 1. So, second term powers are increasing and first term powers are decreasing. So, here k plus 1 c1 1, x power k a power 1 plus k plus 1 c2 x power k minus 1 into a square and so on k plus 1 c k plus 1 x power 0 a power k plus 1. So, this is uh, like uh, x plus a whole power n expansion. So, in the place of uh, n, we are writing here k plus 1. So, the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So, therefore, the statement P of n is true is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So, the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. By principle of mathematical induction by by principle of mathematical induction mathematical induction by principle of mathematical induction the statement the statement is true for every n belongs to j plus that is uh, for every positive integer, the statement is true. So, that is the theorem. So, we are proving this theorem by principle of mathematical induction. The statement is true for every positive integer of index uh, n. Hence, uh, that is uh, theorem is true. Hence, the theorem is true. Okay, so this is the binomial theorem. This binomial theorem we are proving by principle of mathematical induction. Okay.